Hello YouTube. So I started posting radiation videos again. I used to have lots of videos up there explaining my guy counter, explaining the difference with radon 222 and why my guy counter doesn't pick up radon gas. Anyway, uh, my recent videos I got some trolls, some non-believers, some people that just don't want to believe. So we got a simple test here today. Now it's going to be off maybe a digit or two, you're not going to get the exact same reading, but here's the soaks you all see at the famous YouTube drain. And here's a slightly newer model, uh, upgraded model. It's got a nitrate tester inside here. This bottom part comes off. I can test food. So as you see, they're going, we're going to let those cycle through. They're both at uh, 0.3 microsieverts per hour, as you can see right there. For those that know what I'm talking about. And that's pretty normal, by the way. That's pretty normal. Anyway, here is a smoke detector. It is a newer smoke detector with the uh, battery pop out. See, you can't close it when the, the bat battery's not in it. So, this is a very new model of smoke detector. Now, I want you to pay attention to right there. Well, let's focus. You see that, right? You see that, right? Danger. Radiation. Okay, so let's just get an idea how dangerous. So, which one do we want first? Well, this, this one counts a little slower, cycles a little slower through the reading. So let's take the older one. Geiger tube is on the back here, brand new bag. Let's place her on here. Now we should get a reading about 40. Ooh, much higher than I expected. Okay, she's dropping a bit there. And that's why you let it cycle through a little bit. So I get a very accurate reading. And shoot, I think the battery's gonna die on my other one. I hope not. But as you see, that's nowhere in the red. So we're getting it in the 60s here. And it all depends where I move it. You see what I mean? Because there's a little sensor in there, right? But that's like the average, 60, you know, mid 60s. So let's take this off. Gaga tube is gonna be in the same place. Oh, we gotta. Turn her back on here. Let's see what happens here. Oh, so I must be right on it here. As you see, it's just off to the side a little bit. Okay, so it's dropping. So it just spikes to the counter at first, I guess. We'll let it cycle through a bit. And that's why it's so important to let these readings go for a minute. Let them drop off or climb up. But there you go. That looks a little more normal to me. 
So it did the same thing as the other Geiger counter when I put it on. The exact same thing. It's doing the exact same thing. So anybody thinking that there's shenanigans going on with the uh, Geiger counter I'm using? I, I don't know what to say to you. And as you see, the other one is dropping off as we keep it away. It's slowly dropping off here. Going back to normal. And there you go, we're getting approximately the same readings. Just depends whereabouts I move this. So there you go. So for anybody doubting the readings I'm getting with the little Geiger counter, I hope this uh, helps you shut your mouth a little bit. I'm not doing these videos, these videos because I think I'm smarter. I'm not trying to fear monger. This is a hobby making videos. I have explained it in the past why it's not read on gas. You can go do this. Uh, research yourself. I'm making this video so people do do their own research and it's just a hobby. So if you don't want to believe what you see that is your choice but I will not spend time arguing with trolls. I will not spend time educating everybody. I am taking videos with my counters at the drain. And we all are going to do some more nitrate testing with food with this. I'm sure everybody wants me to go get some Pacific Ocean fish if there is still such a thing. Anyway, a lot, a lot of hungry sea lions, I heard, dying on the shores of the western coast of the United States. Little baby seal starving to death. Where'd all the fish go? Not a good idea. But anyway, you see they're dropping off. And again, if I take this and I put it on the smoke detector in the general area that the other one was, you'll see it start climbing. There you go. And again, on the back of this, now I ask you, if it's only in the yellow, and it's only in the 50s, and there's a big danger radiation, radioactivity symbol on the back right here in plain view, now I didn't stick the sticker on there, I mean if you want to read it, there's a company. And look at that, there's a warning. Okay, so you've seen the reading. So why wouldn't you believe the rain reading? That's This is what I don't understand. Why would you troll so bad on the reading I'm getting from the rain when I can show you this? Yeah, it might be different gamma, blah, 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 blah. But it ain't radon, is it? You need a different meter to pick up radon gas in a building or coming off of marble slab. <clears throat> Excuse me. So hope this helps you believe my meters. There's the numbers as they calm down there a bit. Don't jump down around jump around a little bit there. Numbers might vary by a couple digits, but pretty much uh, the same damn thing. Alright, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Dislike if you really don't believe or you think they're shenanigans? By all means, dislike, but do something.